let's talk about the knot for a second. Because very recently, they made an egregious adjustment in their ratings, in their rating average system. An egregious adjustment. Oh, out of nowhere. They didn't tell nobody. There wasn't an email first. There wasn't a press release. They love press releases, right? There wasn't nothing. There wasn't an article in their magazine. They didn't mention it in their reality TV show on Oxygen Network or whatever. Nothing. Just low-key, out of nowhere. Just whoosh. They changed their rating system. Now, I'm going to use SCE as an example, okay? So, in case you don't know, after the show, of course, check your knot and see if it changed for you. Let's use SCE as an example. I work for SCE Event Group. So, you know, I could talk about them. SCE Event Group. Currently, as it sits, we have 1,462 reviews on the knot.com with 99% of them being five-star and 1%, 1% being four-star, okay? Now, instead of having a 5.0 like we've always had, it now says 4.9, and everybody's noticed this. And upon doing research, if you look at everybody else's page, the only, you know, any vendor that's on the knot that still has that 5.0, literally they only have they only have 5.0 reviews. You only have five-star reviews and that's it. So the only way now, which it wasn't like this before, out of nowhere, the only way to get a 5.0 average on the knot is to have all five-star reviews. All of them. Okay? Every single one of them. So let's do some math here, okay? I, I did some mathing. Let's figure out where I, I want to see where the knot's head's at, okay? Let's let's see where they're coming up with this, okay? So using SC as, as an example, we have 1,462 reviews as of yesterday, right? If you times that by 1%, that is that the 1% of 1462 would be 14.62, right? So you can say by this simple math that at the very most we have 14 four-star reviews. I'm pretty sure it's like three. I don't even think we have five four-star reviews, to be honest with you. But for the sake of an argument, okay, we'll max it out. SCE, at most, has 14 four-star reviews. Because if they had 15, then it would jump up to 2%. It would be over the 14.62. Okay, you guys with me? We're going to keep mathing. Now, so we have 14 four-star reviews, and then you subtract that, then that leaves us with 1,448 five-star reviews, Okay. Now we have to figure out the star average. So 14 four-star reviews equals 56 total stars. 1,448 five-star reviews equals 7,240 stars. Then you add those stars together, right? So you have a, a whole total of stars that we were given over the years of being in business, which is 7,296 stars. That's how many stars we have currently. Then you take the total number of stars and you divide it by the amount of reviews you have to get the grand total average. And in doing so, our average is 4.99. And that's saying we have 14 four-star reviews, because we don't. I'm telling you it's like three or four. You can't even find them. I can't, you gotta dig. They're really random in there, there's not a lot. But let's say we have 14. It's still, we have a 4.99 average. So my question to the knot and all of you, if you want to think about this, how, uh, why this is so egregious, you could say, Nick, all right, stop crying. You have a 4.9 average and now the website reflects that. Before they said you had a 5.0 and that wasn't fair because you technically don't have a 5.0 average if you do the math, if you're mathing correctly. I get it, okay? But what looks worse, okay? 4.99? or 4.9. That's a big fucking difference, okay? You have 4.9, you could be 4. Point, your actual average could be 4.90, 4.91, 4.92, 4.93. Those are huge differences. And that's why I think the right thing to do, okay? If they're not gave a shit about us like they say they do. The right thing to do to solve this entire problem, fine, have the correct averages, but you need to add a decimal. The not should now, instead of just having 4.9, they should add a second decimal 
to reflect the exact average. You want to get all precise on us out of nowhere, okay, without any type of announcement or warning, then at least get precise, precise. Add a second decimal so at least now if you're like SCE and you have almost 1,500 reviews and 1% or less is only four stars, nothing else, then we should at least be able to show 4.99. Because, like, who's perfect? You know what I mean? Okay, great. 4.99. At least it's fair. That's our real thing. There's a big difference between 4.99 and 4.9. So they need to add a decibel and do the right thing. 